It's a procession 80 years overdue. Yeah, the military takes care of their men and women, you know. But it's never too late to honor a veteran. It's very emotional because I've been trying to get this to happen since 2015. Tom Rowe flew from Atlanta to help memorialize an uncle he never met. Uh, growing up, I always knew that he was killed there. Navy electrician's mate Cecil Barncourt was killed in the attack at Pearl Harbor in 1941. Barncourt was one of the 429 sailors who died when the Japanese torpedoed the USS Oklahoma. This road ain't too good. <laughs> Larry Mason is another nephew of Barncourt, yeah. whose memorial turned into a family introduction. I uh, hear a rumor that you're Larry. Yeah, I'm Tom Rowe, your cousin. Glad to meet you, cousin. Yeah. <laughs> Their parents were siblings. Uncle Cecil right in the middle. Yep. That must be my mother. No, Brought together by a tragedy no. and a triumph of science and persistence. It's amazing, you know, that DNA, they can yeah. find out who the relations right. and stuff. For decades, Barncourt's remains were buried in Hawaii, listed as unidentified. At the punch bowl, Cecil's name is recorded on the courts of the missing. <laughs> But today, more than 81 years later, Barncourt's getting a memorial with full military honors in Mossy Rock. Now electrician's mate, third class, Cecil E. Barncourt, returns home to family and friends. Why Mossy Rock, a small Lewis County town Barncourt never visited? I'll cherish the rest of my life. DNA samples identified Larry Mason as Barncourt's oldest living relative. Mason has other families buried at Mossy Rock's Swafford Cemetery. This is been a day I've been looking forward to, if you can put it that way, uh, since 2015. And I want to thank Larry for making it happen. This many people turn out and the uh, guy's been gone for eight, over 81 years, you know. It's, it's something else. I'm really glad I came. Are there any other nephews or nieces I don't know about? <laughs> no. <laughs> Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.